A state of emergency has been declared in the city of Rochester. Mayor Lovely Warren announcing this due to gun violence over the past few weeks. 2021 will go down as the city's most violent year so far with 71 homicides. Officers say this year has also seen an uptick in teen violence with 60 members of our youth being targets of violence. We begin with Erica Acosta at the Public Safety Building. Erica, you were just talking to officers about this emergency order. What can you tell us? And Ali, I just want to mention that yesterday we had three homicides and one person is fighting for their life in from suffering from gunshot wounds. We're told Mayor Warren reached out to Governor Kathy Hochul's office this morning declaring a state of emergency for the city of Rochester and asking for additional help. Officials say this emergency order will bring on more state troopers, members of Monroe County Sheriff's Department and mental health clinicians to assist in an, in an expanded task force for the city. They're going to be patrolling areas with the most shootings and reported gunshots. Dewey Avenue was one that was mentioned. The emergency order says gun violence in Rochester is up 95% compared to last year. There have been 301 shootings in 2021, 360 victims, and as I mentioned, 71 deaths. We heard from RPD Interim Chief David Smith on their role in this plan of action. It's exhausting, it's heartbreaking, and it's heart-wrenching. I have in front of me a list of over 30 violent offenders that we'll be handing over to the expanded marshals task force for hopefully arrest within the next few weeks. These are individuals that we already have probable cause to arrest, and we also know that if they're not arrested, they're still out there involved in gun crimes and violent acts. You just heard him mention a U.S. Marshals Task Force, also known as the Viper Task Force. More on the status of their role and the progress they say they've been making so far, coming up at 5 and 6. For now in Rochester, Erica Cost, News 8. Thank you, Erica. And police are urging the public, if you see something, say something. They're asking you to call 911 or Rochester Crime Stoppers with any tips on these recent murder investigations.